Okay guys, this is it. Get ready for the tour. But this is something fun that we added. It's kind of tight in here, but it's enough space for a hall bath. This is the secret compartment that I want to show you. Over here is the biggest challenge that we had in the RV. You'll be just fine. This is it. We are finally about to embark, Lord willing, on our trip. We've got the RV ready. It has not come without difficulty along the way, but we finally think we're getting ready to go. And so you know what that means? We've got to give you the tour of the renovation inside of the RV. You might've seen it before, but it looks a lot different now. Get ready for the tour. This is it. I want to just go room by room and show you all the things that we did, kind of all the features that we've added. And if you saw the video that we did before the walkthrough, then you will know that we've done a lot of things to this RV. The first thing I'm going to show you is the kitchen and the living room. So over here, we did our backsplash. We put in the tile backsplash. We've got a spice rack here. We painted all of the cabinets did new hardware, and we got a new kitchen faucet. We also added a toilet paper holder here. Toilet paper holder? Oh, no, not a toilet <laughs> paper holder. This is, uh, this is a paper towel holder, not a toilet paper holder. And we also added blinds. So the blinds are cool because we need some privacy. We pull them down, they stay down, and then when you're done with them, pull them back up like that. Let's go over here to the couch. The boys are over here playing. We actually had this couch reupholstered. So we sent this, we found a guy who ended up doing a great job, who changed these from a light uh, tan color to this darker color to contrast all of the white that we did. That was actually the first vlog that we did of renovating was doing the paint. And so we took all of the dark wallpaper and painted it white, which was a long, long process. We also got blinds on these to match. And up here is our pantry. Carrie, I don't know if you know this, but Carrie's an amazing organizer. If you need help with organizing a space, she has a skill for that. So all of our cereals are up here. We've got all these little bins and they hold our extra supplies so that we can get our popcorn, our crackers, things like that from up here. This couch actually pulls out into a double bed. So if someone's joining us while we're on the road, they could use this. Now I want to circle around this way and show you the cockpit. We didn't do a lot to this space. The only thing we did up here was painted those cabinets and put the um, hardware on. Uh, we replaced the carpet because it had like zero padding. So we got a nice carpet that uh, feels good when we're driving now. So that feels good. And then we also got um, Carrie's cousin, Catherine. Thanks, Catherine. She sewed us new curtains for up here. Um, that helps to block out the sunlight, but also give privacy at night. All right, so up here we have our bread, our, there's more pantry space. We got our chips. This is a lot of chips. We're gonna go one bag at a time, but. And then over here, just like utility stuff. So like batteries and things like that that we would need. Um, but what's really cool that we like about this RV is the bed over top. So I wanna show you how that comes down. So we looked for an RV that could have a bed over top of here. Um, this is where Lacey sleeps and Levi. And uh, it has a net that comes across. So whenever we park somewhere, this can come down. We don't need to drive. We can still access the pantry under there. But this is huge because we don't have to take down our couch. We don't have to take down our dinette. And it could be a whole other bedding area for somebody. So this was awesome. So one of the other huge things that we did was replace all the flooring in the RV. We had this old 
laminate tile looking stuff before and we replaced it with a high luxury vinyl plank. So the reason for that is kids, dog, just playing around and getting dirty and this is good for high traffic stuff so it won't scuff and cleans up really easy. So we love how that turned out. And Carrie picked out this sweet rug that makes it feel a little bit more like home. Next, I'll give you a tour of kind of the kitchen cabinet area. We added a shelf here so that we can have two layers of storage instead of stacking everything up. And again, bins for our plates and things like that. Over here, we've got our mugs. So all of our family members have their own cup and bowls. And so water and coffee mugs here. Up here, we house this uh, griddle that we have for cooking. Down here is the sink area, so these come out. You got two bays for your sink so you can do dirty and clean side as you're washing them. And then we have this, which is our stove. So we got three burners. We have gotten some supplementary cooking things um, that we may use more like grills because this doesn't efficiently cook as we found out as well as we'd like it to. So we'll probably use a combination of all the things. Um, we've got an oven in case we want to do some toast. I don't think this is going to do a Thanksgiving turkey or anything like that. The spice racks, full-size microwave, and then down here is where we keep our trash and other cleaning supplies. These just house all the silverware. So uh, this has a full-size residential fridge, um, definitely as deep as, and we've also got this all organized with bins and stocked for the road. Um, Carrie says that we can probably get about three days worth of groceries before we got to reorder. So we'll see, we'll test that theory out, but we're keeping everything organized like this. And we also have a freezer up top. We need to get some popsicles. I think popsicles would be a good addition. Let's go to the dining room. So in the dining room, we also reupholstered all of these cushions. It was also kind of that uh, dated like tan look and they, they weren't in great shape, but now they're brand new. This also turns into a bed, so you can take this out and then add cushions right here and someone can sleep there pretty comfortably, about the size of a, of a twin bed. And then there's storage underneath here too. So we take these cushions out and there's not as convenient places to get to under there, but we do have more storage there. You may have seen in one of our vlogs, we replaced this light. So that was a fun project and updated the space. So over here we have our map from Etsy. We got this on Etsy and we have our little heart pin on Virginia because that's where we're from. But we're gonna be adding more pins along the way. I really like this. Over here, we've got a TV and we can play DVDs on this mostly or pick up channels. But this is something fun that we added. Um, this is all carry. I had nothing to do with this. I just hung them up there. Um, so we have all of the different time zones up here. I can't read this type of clock very well, so it takes me a while, so I have my watch. But if we stare at it long enough, then we can keep in touch with where we're at, what time it is back home, in case we're corresponding or working with people at home. So that's kind of a cool feature. I like that a lot. Let's go this way to the bunks. This is another reason that we went with this RV. We needed to have a bunk area. So we have one for Landon, Lawson, and uh, we didn't do too much of this other than paint all this white added a less house for home which we are living out right now and we added these right here so we could add some curtains so that they can have some privacy or we can have some privacy so let's go this way and I'll show you the hall bathroom I'm not sure what this angle is like it's kind of tight in here but it's enough space for a hall bath like a powder room um, I just want to tell you kind of some of the things we did in here we added these hooks that give a natural tone to it for towels, bathing suits, all of the above. Over here we added a wallpaper to the back of the uh, vanity and this mirror that we hung, which kind of is cool contrast. I like this dark and the, and the metal, tying it with our new faucet. And then some things to make it feel like home. So we've um, got a candle that's here and our towel. And the kids have plenty of space. They almost have more storage space than we do. Plenty of storage here for the kids stuff and for the bathroom supplies, baskets down there, and um, some more space under there too. All right, come on into the master bedroom. So we did a lot in here. One is we added a mattress topper and bedding because it was zero comfortable. We also painted this entire dresser and did all the new hardware on here, which 
brighten this up big time. All the walls went white from brown to white. All the trim went from brown to white. Added a picture. I don't know what this is, but it feels like home. I'm cool with it. I feel like I could make this. That's that. So above here, we have medical supplies. We have our games. So we brought some games from home so we can have fun together as a family. Over there, I can't reach it, but we have our books. From down here, we added this. This didn't have a door on it. It just had a grate that went to nothing. So we added a door onto there because you can never have enough storage. Each of us has our own nightstand there. On this side, I wanna show you our clothes, how we have all these set up. So I've actually chose to have some hanging space. This kind of feels more appropriate for me. Um, but we also added some drawers to these so we could get in and out of our clothes a little bit easier. More clothes in here. And uh, each of the kids have their own drawer too. So um, all of our kids have their clothes down here easy to access and everything organized in different bins. Whether it stays like that or not, to be determined, but we're gonna try. Over here is Carrie's stuff. She got three drawers because she's cool like that. So easy way to organize clothes there. This is a secret compartment that I want to show you. The TV comes out and then behind here, we've got some video games and some movies. So that's kind of something that I wanted to have because me and Landon like playing video games. So, and, and family movies are gonna be fun. Okay, so this right here is another feature that I really love in our master. Um, this was the barn door that came with the RV, but it was flat panel and it was brown. So we painted it gray and had some help putting this um, detail on here. We found this from, I think Pinterest, Carrie found this on Pinterest. And then we copied that design and it turned out great. It's like almost an art piece but just also I like the contrast. I just think it's a cool feature. Updated the hardware here. And one thing that we added for obvious reasons to the bathroom and the bedrooms, just for privacy, um, they had a lock on one side to keep the door from moving when you're, when you're on the road, but they didn't have a way to keep it locked from the inside. So we added that to the inside. That uh, is a nice feature to have. Okay, so now we're in the master bathroom and we did the most renovations in here. Um, we painted the vanity, new hardware. Um, we did a backsplash behind the entire um, wall right here and added a mirror, a residential mirror, new faucet, new hardware for this. We also have robe hooks in here, just like in the hall bath. And then we ran the flooring, the new flooring all the way into the bathroom. Um, I don't know if you can see the rug, but the rug is also in here, that kind of similar style to the one on the front, just a little bit different and fits this space really well for getting in and out of the shower. Over here is the biggest challenge that we had in the RV. We wanted the extra beds, we wanted to have two bathrooms, but we also wanted to have laundry. So we added a washer dryer combo unit. This is the Splendy 210 XC. It's very common for RVs. This was just a cabinet. Um, it was a little bit shallower and it just had storage space but we had different plans for that. So we had to run electrical all the way from the front to the back. We had to run plumbing and we had to carry this 150 pound washer all the way to the back of this RV. It was so crazy. That was the hardest job here. Now we can do like about a load a day. Um, if we, if we come in at, at the end of the day, clothes are dirty, just put them straight in there, do laundry overnight, and we're good to go. We still were left with some storage space, so we put um, baskets up top for detergent and things like that. And then we have our towels and other toiletries and things down here. This is huge. We're very, very thankful for that. Okay, so close up here for the shower. I um, just want to show you how this works. So we can get in here like this. There is plenty of space in the shower put my arms out like this and uh, plenty of room We've got a good shower head we added the tile all the way around the top just so that um, we'd have kind of more of a bathroom type feel in here uh, we also added a mountable holder for shampoo and soap 
things like that just for convenience so things aren't rolling around. But we're also thankful for the space that we have in here. All right, guys, so we gave you the tour of the RV. Let us know what you think. We had a lot of help suggestions from new friends and family online along the way. If you missed any of our renovation videos, you can go back and watch those. Now we're gonna get in the RV and enjoy it and enjoy our new home. And we're gonna embark on our first journey and we wanna take you along with us. So we're gonna be updating you with each place that we visit, all the things that we do and discover. And we would love if you guys would subscribe to our YouTube, subscribe on Facebook, um, share this video if you liked it. We really appreciate all the love and support that we're getting. We're really excited for this and we're so thankful for the opportunity to get to spend this year on the road trying to visit all the lower 48 and uh, we're going to learn a lot and we're going to grow together as a family. So we will definitely keep you posted. Thanks guys.